everyone, welcome back to Beautiful Mess. Today we are back in the home of Cammie, our incredible shrinking woman. You'll probably remember her kitchen and transforming it from this into this beautiful space. But today we are going to be working on her closet and her upstairs hallway. So first here is some footage of her closet. And Cami is actually going to be working on this herself while I work on the hallway. So she'll be heavily involved in this process today. Um, but first I wanted to show you something kind of funny. If you guys remember, we both went to the same high school. She was a year ahead of me, but I saw this hanging in her closet and said, is that seriously a pep club sweatshirt? <laughs> and she's like, yes, you should totally try it on. So I did. I had to be super careful putting it on though because the neck hole was really small and I have a thing with my eyebrows being touched. You can see me furiously fixing them there. <laughs> but anyway, I did successfully get it on and with minimal damage to my eyebrows and there is me in it. So a little blast from the past, it was kind of fun. Um, okay, and then this is the hallway that I will be working on. I guess you could actually call this more of a landing than a hallway, but um, anyway, just the space at the top of the stairs right before you go into the master bedroom. So I will be working on this. And let me just show you how Cami got around having me have to blur her out. Um, she was so creative. She thought, I want to be part of the process, the cleanup process, but you know, I'm trying to stay anonymous. So this is what she came up with. She <laughs> made herself a cute little mask, which I very much appreciated because not only does it just take a lot of extra time to blur out um, somebody in my videos, but it also slows down the video editing process. Like it just bogs down the system and makes everything run really slow. So I was so thankful that she was super creative and came up with a solution. <laughs> So if you remember the first video in this series from Cami's home, you'll remember that um, as we started talking before I came to her home to clean, um, we started piecing things together and figured out we went to the same high school, same junior high, grew up in the same area and all these other things that just kept um, adding up. And then there was this other huge coincidence that was really funny that I'll explain here in just a second, but you'll see me showing Cammie what I'm listening to right here. This is what I'm listening to. It's just, you know. Aww, I love that. I listened to the album twice yesterday. I was like, this is amazing. So she's talking about Shine Down, which is my favorite band ever. And this is footage from one of their concerts last October that she sent to me randomly of her favorite song at that concert. And see that arrow right there? Well, that's where I am at that same concert. And so I sent her back this footage, which is my point of view of the exact same song that she sent me footage of if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, it was just so funny to think we're at the same concert filming the same exact moment. And then months later, we figured this out that we were both there. And anyway, it was just one of those fun coincidences. And I really wish that I could play this song for you in the video, but of course I would get a copyright strike for that. So um, instead I'm going to link it. It's called A Symptom of Being Human. And I promise, even if you look at that band and think there's no way I would like them, give it a shot. I think you'll really like the song. It's very relatable to I think a lot of people. It's just a good song. So check it out in the description. So when I start on a big project like this, all I'm really doing right at first is moving stuff around just to figure out exactly what I'm dealing with, 
what kinds of categories I'm going to need to make. So for instance, there were a lot of clothes here and because it's me and I'm a little crazy and love laundry more than life itself, I volunteered to take this laundry home because that was one big thing that um, I could help her get on top of so that we could clear a lot of this quickly. And so anyway, I started bagging that up, but had to label it. Um, you know, there was, there was some that was dirty, but a lot of it was still clean. So I was just gonna take that home and fold it at least so that it, you know, could be put away. But a lot of it was also donate. So I labeled some of the bags donate, but to also make it visually a little easier to identify which was which, I tied a sock around the handle of the garbage bag. You might have seen that orange sock there. So uh, that was just to easily identify that it was the dirty clothes that we were putting in that. I'm about to show you how amazingly talented Cammie's daughter is. I don't even know where it's aimed at right now. Oh, <laughs> down here. So there we go. That is awesome. I just like so far. She has these like finger pad things that go in it too. They're not in it right now. Yeah. She took them out, but she has little finger so that they're all puffy. Yeah. So that they're like pat, like actually filled. Holy. Can you believe amazing. she did that? No. That's so cool. Isn't that incredible? She's only 16. She's on the spectrum, and this is obviously her special interest. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about my recent break from YouTube and why I felt I needed to take that. And you'll actually get to witness the moment that I sort of lost it um, and decided to take that break uh, near the end of this video. But I might be a little bit back and forth because I also just you know, wanted to keep you abreast of what is going on in this video. So really quick, I just wanted to show what Cammie is working on while I'm working out in the hallway. So she's just in her closet going through all the clothes that are in there and taking out anything that needs to be donated and just paring this down, clearing the floor. So I'll just kind of switch back and forth between um, what she's doing, what I'm working on. And yeah, so um just to give you a little context of the timeline we're talking about here so this that you're watching right now was filmed on august 20th so two days prior to this i had just put out my video of mira's um, living room and cleaning that up and that was the same weekend that mac had put out the video with his narration of me cleaning uh, mira's spare room so anyway it was supposed to be this big weekend and um, bring a lot of new subscribers to my channel a lot of views and and you know, finally, all the hard work and sacrifices that I've made to my mental health, to my home, my yard, my family will finally pay off. And this was going to be just the boost my channel needed to finally start making enough that I could maybe hire some help or offload some of the um, stuff on my plate. So that was the plan and it did not do squat <laughs> to help boost numbers on my channel and I just went to a really dark place and started thinking things like you know there's like half a million people that have surely heard about my channel from Mac by now and have just decided for whatever reason that I'm not for them and so it just you know, I, I just took it a little too personally. And when I'm not in a good, healthy state of mind, everything just is worse, <laughs> you know? And so I, I kind of, I probably, well, I know I blew it out of proportion and just was not thinking clearly. And so I just was feeling a little defeated, but I'd already planned on going up to Cammie's to help her with this. And so um, if you slowed this down and there will be moments that it is slowed down and you can tell that I am not doing well. <laughs> like I, my, 
my words were not coming out well. I couldn't form sentences. I was just exhausted. So add on top of that my super empathetic nature and just taking on the feelings of everyone around me and then my neurodivergent brain, which has been overstimulated for far too long. It's just been overtaxed beyond anything I've ever experienced in my life. And so all of that added up to just starting off this day already on edge. And so any amount of talking beyond what I was trying to focus on was yeah, I was trying to keep it together, but you'll see me have a moment where I, I kind of break and ha I have to tell Cammie, look, you need to be quiet, go in the other room, I have to focus on this. And I couldn't even put that into words, and so I kind of sign this to her <laughs> and tell her, you need to go. But um, I loved her reaction to this, she's so cute. And that's coming up here in just a few seconds. I'm like, seriously, I'm gonna, I'm starting to be like, ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. And that's what I love about Cami. She really is a good example of taking feedback that, it, because it, it's not her fault. She loves to talk. She really has just such a fun time talking about anything and everything. And she is so fun to talk to when I have the time to just sit and chat with her. But when I don't, <laughs> this is the level we've gotten to. I just have to give her the sign and just remind her, my brain is fried. I need some space right now. <laughs> so she's very respectful of that. And I love that about her. Um, she's also very respectful of my time with my family and other things I have going on. And you'll see an example of that uh, a little bit later in the video. She just always wants to make sure that I don't feel taken advantage of and that she's doing her part and and helping as much as possible and I really appreciate that about her. And yes, I realize I have hardly talked at all about cleaning or organizing so far in this one, but that is not actually the main focus of my channel. That's just kind of part of the deal, but I want this channel to be more about humanity and the things that we all struggle with uh, because I have a feeling that there are millions of people who are either in Cami situation or dealing with burnout like I am and can relate to this so and by the way right here this is me trying to handle things at home and stuff going on there because I uh, yeah, my husband's also going through a bit of a rough time as well, and so I'm trying to keep tabs on him and do, anyway, you know, the whole uh, wife-mom thing as well. But I think I can sum up what I've been working on here, and that is just putting things into categories. So categories, categories, categories. That is the main thing I'm doing, and uh, you'll see some of those categories at the end. There has to be something wrong with me to have gotten myself into this position. You know that you've seen like multiple houses in this condition, right? And that's yeah. the reason. Yeah. So we're not dwelling on this. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. I was just raised not to make excuses for yourself. It feels like an excuse, even though I lived it. You know, and I know it's true. Well, it seems yeah, so like far you, and you think that you're gonna get better, and so you put things off. You're like, oh, if I can just rest now. Yeah. Like, I'll have more energy in the morning. But what if you don't? You know? And, and that's why I said, like, don't wait to apologize and don't wait to say I love you. Because what, what if you can't? What if you don't get that chance? It's not much better to act for right now. Live the moment. And it's so much easier to take care of something. It's like cleaning a pan when it's still wet. Like, like pancake mix last night. We made pancakes for dinner. If you stop and you rinse it off while well, the batter's still wet in the bowl, the bowl comes clean a lot faster. 
I just realized that if this is the first video you've seen of Cammie's house, you're probably wondering what's up with the backpack and why she's wearing that. Um, it's for the food for her feeding tube because she had to have a feeding tube placed due to some health issues. And I'm not gonna go into all of those here because if you have seen the other videos in this series, um, you probably are like, okay, we heard, we know, yeah, we got it. So if you want to know more about that, go back and watch the other videos in this series, but that's what it's for. It's for the feeding tube. And that's what you're going to hear beeping here in just a second. It feels good to help. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but it's just, I feel like stronger. Like I just get worn out. You know? Yeah. It's like, I just have to take breaks. And I also have to make sure that, um, I just have to make sure that I have something left tomorrow. Yeah. Nope. Seriously, please be done whenever you need to. I'm going okay. to take a break in a minute. Yeah. Just because I'm. Oh, that's weird. I'm just going to see the time to come back up. Kind of honoring. And it's remembering stuff like this that makes me feel grateful and look at my blessings instead of the things that are going wrong. Stuff like the fact that I don't have to have a feeding tube and that my health is generally pretty good. Yeah, my back hurts sometimes, my neck hurts sometimes, but overall I feel pretty good. So there is that. So this that I'm trying to get off right here was actually a photograph that um, I don't know what is making it stick to the surface, but I tried to get it off with the goo gone. And probably if I had to let it soak a little bit longer or put a damp cloth on there, it would have come off, but I didn't have time to mess with it. I just gave up and was like, you know what? It's just gonna have to stay there for now. <laughs> if she wants to work on it, great. But I was done messing with it. And then here's a little progress on the closet and how things are coming along in there. So we're finally getting down to some bare floors, which was exciting. And my plan was take all of the laundry home, get it washed in the day in between that I had before I was coming back. And then I was gonna come back, finish this up, probably clean the carpets, help her finish her closet, and then call it good. Best look ever. Little did I know that I was going to completely lose my mind in between, have a complete meltdown, and not be able to return to finish this. So the footage at the end of this day that I thought was just going to be the progress footage and I'll be back to finish it is actually going to be the end of what I was able to do here. So I brought back the clean laundry and dropped it off and just had a long talk with her about like, I have to take a break. I need to just stop and take care of my mental health. Otherwise, I'll just never be able to recover from this. And she was so supportive of that. And I just love what she says right here about taking responsibility for this mess. Yeah, I've just, I, we have to change our whole attitude in this house. Our whole attitude has to stop. We have to stop and be present in the moment and realize we're walking away from messes mm -hmm. and we have to pick them up in the moment and be patient 
long enough to take 30 seconds to put something away. Stopping what we're doing and putting something away like a sane human being, you know? And I don't think that's been happening at all. And it's become a systemic problem. Because, and then I got sick too. So it was like a combination of things. Because there's obviously bad habits. You know what I mean? It doesn't get like this without bad habits. Yeah. yeah. Good habits will prevent I'm not afraid of saying, I, we have bad habits. You can't have bad habits and have both parents be sick. Do you see why I love her and why I love talking with her when I have the time to? <laughs> um, she's just got a lot of wisdom. She's been through a lot. She's learned a lot. I especially love that she just is taking accountability for this and is like, you know, I can't blame this on anyone else. We had a huge part to play in this. And yes, there were things that happened that made it worse, but if we had had better habits in the first place, it wouldn't have gotten to the state. And I think that is one of the biggest steps to lasting change is taking accountability for your actions where you can. And I am trying to take a page from her playbook and take accountability for my burnout because as much as I want to blame other people for causing this, I had a lot to do with it too. There were things that I could have done to mitigate that. But I'm also learning a ton about myself and about how my brain works. So now that I know, I'm going to do things a little differently. That might be where I end because I'm trying my best to do, yeah. to like yep. get out when I say I'm going to get out. Just just so that you need to. And then your family you knows, hey, if mom me. says yeah. that she's going to be home by such and such time, yeah. she will be. Or at least that I left by a certain time. Right. Because I support that. Your family relationships are important. So absolutely. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down right here for just a second. I feel guilty doing it while you're moving around. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I just, I just started realizing, like, oh man, my legs are getting sore and stuff, and it's not so much that I'm not capable of movement as much as that. I slowly had become more still to accommodate my body and didn't realize. That's just it. Like, you get sick gradually and you don't realize how much less and less you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's And I don't want people to see, like, um, me just calling for help and then getting it and everything's magically okay. I want people to see that I have to work to keep it up. Yeah. I think that's important too. Um, I want to see them. I want them to see that I'm trying to do what I can and take ownership of my part in it because I contributed to this. Absolutely. It may not all be my fault, but enough of it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But see, and that's again why you're not a victim or stuck in a victim mentality because you're like I. I mean, I contributed to this, and I can help myself get out of it, but, right, you know, well, you still have limitations, it's just... Yeah, but I want to see people's... I, I would like the idea of somebody also seeing me overcome, uh, like, doing it with limitations. Still uh, having the limitations, but trying. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, that is the end of the wisdom that you get from Cami today. <laughs> but I do have the progress, slash actually after footage for you um, of what I was able to get done. So categories like the toys, um, dog stuff, papers and office supply type things, self-care items, and then like home improvement type things. Plus I had a couple of bins of things that go other places in the home like the kitchen or the garage or whatever it is. Anyway, there is your better than it was footage. But I am happy to report that they are continuing to work on this on their own. And the outro of this video, it's going to show her husband working on some stuff in the closet as well. So of course, there's still the matter of the laundry, which I did do. And the rest of this video is dedicated to doing that laundry. And you might be wondering why you would want to stick around to watch me do a bunch of laundry, but I will give you three reasons. First of all, you might like it more than you think you do. It's pretty satisfying and even relaxing to watch for 
whatever reason. I didn't even know I liked it so much until I started watching myself fold laundry and now I never get sick of it. But anyway, second reason is I'm going to be making some announcements as to some changes I'll be making with my channel in order to run it in a way where I don't lose my mind. And then thirdly, I will be pointing out the exact moment that I lost my mind <laughs> because it happened while I was doing laundry, ironically, and I'll tell you more about what happened, but um, I did want to pause here and just show you all the different washing machines that I had going because I had not only um, cami stuff, but some of Mira's clothes as well. And so I had to label them to make sure I didn't get them mixed up. Plus Mira has, you know, some that are tumble dried and some that are hang dry. And then I had some donate stuff that I wanted to wash before we donate it. So, and this was kind of <laughs> funny to be filming at a laundromat. And yeah, I did get some weird looks. And even a new subscriber, because the lady that worked there was asking what I was filming. And I told her and she checked it out, was watching videos while I was there. So uh, kind of funny. But I thought it might be kind of fun to see the whole process from beginning to end, from washing them, drying them, taking them home, hanging some, separating them, folding it. So you get to see my sad attempt at trying to do this laundry outside. So here's a picture of just about everything I brought home. There's a couple bags that you can't see there. But anyway, it was a pretty windy day. And I mean, it looked nice outside and I had this great idea to put down some tarps. I guess technically it was plastic sheeting, new plastic sheeting, so it was clean. But I put that on top of our swim spot and Thought it would be fun to fold this outside, but it proved to be too much of a challenge. So I did sort it out there and that made it a little bit easier to have all of that room to sort. Plus I still had to hang up some of Mara's clothes out there. But um, anyway, you can see my camera getting knocked around in the wind. So I just gave up on this idea and took it inside. So here is all of Cammy's stuff that I decided to separate out and pile up just so you can get an idea of the amount of stuff I'm folding. So while you enjoy watching me fold this laundry, let me just lay out some of the changes that I'm needing to make in order to keep doing this channel in a healthier way so my mental health is in a good place and I can do a little bit more self-care. Uh, anyway, these are the things that I have to do otherwise I just, I'm not gonna be able to continue it. So um, I did put this in a community post last week so this might be repeat information for some of you but for those that did not see that, let me just lay it out here. And also pay attention to how many times I check my phone while I'm folding this laundry because this is one of the contributors to my slow decline into madness. <laughs> Okay, so I think most of you know by now the struggle that I have with comments and both wanting to reply to every single comment there is because I really appreciate all of my subscribers and viewers, but also I struggle with negative comments every once in a while and it does not happen very often and it still shocks me when it does happen because you know my channel is about spreading some kindness and so I never thought that it would be a problem but unfortunately when you have a channel that's viewed by thousands of people every day you're bound to get a few negative comments here and there so uh, it just on a good day, I can handle that, but I never know what my state of mind is going to be. And so some days when I see those comments, it just derails my day. And so if I can avoid seeing them, I will do what I can to not see them at all. So here is the solution that I have come up with because I can only use the filters I have available to me through YouTube and these are the filters that I have. So I already knew that I could filter it by channel member status and any super thanks to make sure I say thank you for those. But um, that public subscribers, I misunderstood as meaning that those were the subscribers to my channel and it's not what it means. And I won't go into what that means, but unfortunately I can't just filter 
um, out the subscribers to my channel and respond to them because, you know, if I could do that, subscribers are less likely to leave negative comments. But um, unfortunately, that is not an option. So in order to minimize the chances that I see those negative comments are two things that I've done. First, I have added a very affordable membership level that is just 99 cents a month, and that just ensures that I see your comment and reply to it. Um, the other two uh, membership levels have stayed the same except for the supporter level I have added that you um, are included with the members only lives. So I just wanted to make it possible for more people to become members so that I can communicate with you more through the comments. But if you truly can't afford to be a member, it's okay. You don't need to be. And there's still a possibility that I will see your comment. And here is how you can do that. So if you just go and add a heart emoji anywhere in your comment, like you see here, I can filter it out by that heart emoji and I am more likely to see it and respond to it. But I can't make any promises because, you know, there are some days that I'm going to just be slammed with other things going on and I'm just not able to get to all of those. But I love to read your comments when I have time. So still leave leave them. I still really enjoy seeing those and I love when you guys interact with each other too and answer each other's questions and help each other out. So that means a lot to me. I just love this community. So anyway, that will help me more than you can even know. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay, we are almost to the moment where I completely break. <laughs> and it actually happened when my son Jonas walked in and I started talking to him because I'd been thinking a lot while I'd been folding laundry. And so when he walked in, I call him my YouTube advisor because <laughs> He's just really good at talking me through a lot of ideas and things that I have. And so when he walked in, I just was like, I am done. I am done. I have had it. I can't do this anymore. And so this is still shots of me having my mental breakdown and just telling Jonas I I can't do this all anymore. I am overworked, overstimulated. My phone keeps clicking. People keep needing stuff that I can't do. I have too many requests for help right now. I just can't do it all anymore. So it was shortly after this that I was like, I need to be done and take an actual break or be done for good. And I didn't know at that point what I was going to be able to do. But um, fortunately, I have figured out some ways to manage this better. And with your help, with the comments, um, and also probably taking some paid jobs in between some of the free cleanings that I do, that will also help a lot, I think, because as much as I love to help other people and do the free cleanings, I now realize that it really takes a toll on me because of the empathetic nature that I have. So I have to give myself a break in between so that I can show up better for them when I do do those free cleanings. So that is my new plan. And here comes a before and after of that laundry, that beautiful, beautiful laundry. And by the way, I am making another video of me folding this just all from that front view. So if you enjoy the laundry folding, there will be another one where I won't be talking, I promise. <laughs> Okay, don't be alarmed by the guy in the mask in Cammie's closet. This is in fact her husband just doing his part of the decluttering and I just wanted to show him doing his part as well. So um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and for supporting me in all the ways that you do. I just really appreciate this community. Oh, and make sure you go check out that song, Symptom of Being Human. I think you'll really love it. Thanks, guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.